I began to realize that there was sort of this insatiable demand for, for computing performance and that that demand would, wouldn't be satisfied any time in the, in the near term uh, unless we could figure out a way to put tens or hundreds or even thousands of microprocessors together to work on one of these, these very big um, single problems. So I eventually uh, went to my management and said, you know, I know you have me looking at, at other companies, but I have this idea of starting a business that's sort of based on this notion of, of using lots of, of microprocessors. Um, somehow I managed to convince them that this was a good idea, <laughs> something worth investing in. And for literally uh, the next 10 years, we, um, we were on, uh, on this chase to, um, to build the world's fastest uh, computer, which we uh, succeeded uh, in doing uh, by, uh, by 1996. One interesting way to, to look at it uh, is just to think about the very the cylinders in your in the engine in your automobile. I mean, we you know we have four cylinder engines and six cylinder engines and eight cylinder engines. I happen to have a car that has a ten cylinder engine, and there are even some with twelve or or more cylinders. So instead of having one giant uh, one giant cylinder that's trying to generate all the the power to move the car, you use use a number of smaller ones and and the aggregate power uh, is what is what moves the car at you know at, at freeway speeds uh, and we, we're in a sense doing the same thing um, by using lots of microprocessors to generate uh, generate high performance we're we're taking their individual power and and harnessing it in such a way that we can bring all of their energy uh, to bear on on one single, very challenging computational problem. I built my first computer or calculator, I guess more accurately, when I was 12, uh, and I had to I had to learn about binary arithmetic and you know how computers did uh, did arithmetic, uh, and and that really you know took me into you know into learning new things uh, about math and certainly you know electrical. Uh, engineering because it was all part of, of creating that uh, that calculator. The fact that I could actually build an electronic device that could add, subtract, and, and multiply. I couldn't do divide. I wasn't quite up for divide, but uh, but do three of the of the four basic calculator functions, and that that it would do it repeatedly, endlessly, and always get the right answer. Um, that I think that kind of determinism uh, is what really what really captured me. I can't remember exactly how old I was, probably ten or uh, eleven, but um, a neighbor boy and I uh, had this idea that uh, we should have a private telephone link between our houses, and so we we set out to to build the link, and we we got the we got the sort of the endpoints. Uh, figured out, but uh, then came time to run the the cable from my house to his house, which was we were you know several houses apart, and um, and we never managed to get that that cable to work. Uh, the funny part is years later, one of the neighbors asked me to remove the cable, and because uh, they were doing some uh, you know some landscaping, uh, and so I walked along the fence pulling pulling the cable out, and I came to this point where. Uh, that cable and the other cable that was coming from uh, from my friend's house were simply knotted together. There was no electrical uh, connection between the two, uh, so that was uh, that was uh, an ill-fated adventure. But my first attempt at inventing something.